Hello, I'm Catherine Hobbs, the Project Manager for the Tourism Relief Fund, which is money that has been provided by FedDev Ontario to different tourism organizations in Ontario. And so today I'm here talking to Natalie Wallenberg of the Jackson Falls Country Inn. And uh, welcome, Natalie. And if you could just tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. Uh, thanks, Catherine. Well, I'm I'm Natalie Wallenberg. Uh, my husband and I own the Jackson Falls Country Inn, uh, which is located in Milford and Prince Edward County. Um, currently, I am the innkeeper, and <laughs> I think sometimes it's hard when you're when you're a small business. You you actually have a lot of jobs and a lot of hats. Um, and so we basically we took this over, or we bought it in 2020. Um, and it was a very big renovation project. Um, so we had to renovate all the rooms. Uh, and then we're into our nearly our third year, our third season of operating. And we were lucky enough to connect with Catherine and the Fed Debt Fund. <laughs> Fantastic. So maybe you could just uh, share a little bit about what you did with the Fed Dev funding, how that sort of transformed your, your business operation there. Absolutely. Yeah. So <laughs> we are, where our inn is located, we are set in rural Prince Edward County. It is gorgeous. There is countryside everywhere. And we, we kind of wanted to, we, we needed an idea to be able to um, basically grab that and for our, our customers and our clients to be able to sit outside and to relax and also uh, getting into events as well. So something, it needed to be multifaceted. We needed to uh, we, it, you know, to be able to give us some opportunity, uh, more opportunities for um, uh, revenue income and basically broaden what we do at Jackson's Falls. So we came up with the idea of Dexas now, which is a deck the size of Texas. I love um, that. <laughs> out the back, um, there used to be some outhouses. There was an old caravan. It was overgrown. There, it was. So we started the process probably around April and then we finally came up with the idea that you know people really want to just sit and take take this in take this view in so uh we found out about the fed dev fund and it uh I spoke to Catherine and we uh fit the uh criteria so we went ahead and put the out the grant in and we got it which was I don't know about any other small business owner but as soon as you get a grant you it is just like I got a grant <laughs> um, <laughs> the, you know the heavens opened the, you know, the angels were singing yeah. um, so we started construction of Dexas and which is basically a 2000 square foot platform and um, which has some um, uh, it's got some ability to have coverage with toy, the Toyo grid system and also planter boxes, which is around. Um, oh, lovely. It, yeah. it, and it was such a, we only finished it. We started it in probably June and we finished it in just December. Still as the snow was flying, we were lucky to have <laughs> some phenomenal carpenters, uh, Mifflin and Salins, uh, and they really helped us uh, guide uh, the project and also keep us under budget as well. They were they were incredible. Uh, but as soon as it was as soon as it's done, it's just uh, it's probably my most it's my favorite part of this summer oh. coming up is being able to have these events outside for our customers to be able to relax out there and just you know listen to nothing. Like the the insects yeah. might be the, it might be going off and the birds will be chirping and re relaxation. Yeah, wonderful. It does take a little while to build something the size of Texas. So I can see why it took so long. Uh, and the fun thing was that we already had an event out there just when just the platform was there. Uh, we had Comedy Country come and do a improv comedy show out there. And people like we had the performance on the actual deck and everyone bought their lawn chairs and surrounded and they had charcuterie and their wine. And it was gorgeous. Oh, fantastic. And so, um, and so what do you foresee do, doing with Dexas? Uh, what, what would you like to have happen <laughs> there? Uh, so hopefully this season, we're looking at doing a three-part concert series uh, with a local quartet uh, and just bringing, you know, just being outside and people being able to enjoy uh, chamber music and uh, hope we're going to be working with comedy country again. And also we've got, uh, customers who are coming to do private events there with either whether they're just a birthday celebration or a wedding or whatever. This is meant to be a multifaceted area, but all in all, it's just a gorgeous place to be. 
It is, yeah. So, um, and just a little bit about the inn itself. So you have a, a number of rooms in there that people could stay in if they... Absolutely. We are a nine suite inn. So generally our capacity is 20 to 22. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a private dining. Uh, we have a dining room because uh, we serve brunch every single weekend now. We have a, um, a new chef and innkeeper oh. who is just coming on board with us this year, Chef Chris Wiley. And his bacon is ridiculous. <laughs> People come from miles around for this stuff. It is addictive. <laughs> uh, and so we've got, we can take uh, very like large groups or we can do a lot of uh, small corporate um, retreats. We actually had a knitting, retreat, a knitting retreat at the end of this month and oh. we had a yarn spinning retreat at the end of last month. So oh, yeah, everything crafty. Uh, and uh, we also have um, a local yoga instructor who does meditation and Reiki and she takes large groups as well. So if we, we have people booking corporate retreats, they de generally uh, uh, get Lisa Marie to be able to do the yoga for them as well. So we've got a lot of con uh, connections in the community to be able to bring a true county experience to them. And yeah, actually, we're also bringing our wine tours in. For, we've got a oh, wine nice. tour operator that's working with us this year for our, our customers. So they, they can just check in and just get whisked away and have a little introduction to uh, our part of the county and go to some wineries, cideries, you know, yep. one fun reason to come to the county. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, so well. we've got a lot of things in the in on the go this it year. Works. Yeah, well, it sounds just fantastic. I'm going to have to mark down my calendar for this summer, and uh, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I've got to see that deck. <laughs> and, uh, I know. It's, it's impressive. <laughs> yes. And so I'm just so pleased that that you did get this funding. I, you know, it was um, I know it um what it helped you to sort of transform part of your business that you maybe couldn't have done for a little while and and doing all of the work that you had to do during the pandemic. <laughs> honestly, geez. it was rough, but honestly, That's the work you asked for. <laughs> the process was actually, you made the, the process very, very easy. Uh, writing a grant is, is something that does not come naturally to me because no. I, I sometimes it's hard to find the words and you, you know, it looks like when you look at a grant application, sometimes it looks like a mountain and you <laughs> yeah. made it a hill for me. So Aww, it's, it's 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 so much and being able to deal with RTO9 has been, you know, it's made that process a lot easier and uh, I don't look at it and run away <laughs> as much as I used to. <laughs> We're just so proud of, of everyone that's in our region, southeastern Ontario. It's a beautiful, beautiful region, especially where you are in Milford and around the Picton area. It's just a gorgeous place to be all year round. But uh, anyway, I'm just so happy for you. And thank you so much for doing this today, Natalie. Thanks, Catherine. Thanks very much.